Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This video you guys are seeing is starting in a very, very unfamiliar place to me and probably a lot of people because right now I am practically in the middle of absolute nowhere, but for good reason. About a couple weeks ago, my good buddy, John B, who I'm sure all of you guys know, actually sent me the invite to uh, come stay at this cabin in West Texas for about four or five days. The purpose of the entire trip is to catch some absolute giant bass. Some of you guys are gonna recognize this spot just from the footage to show you guys, but this lake itself, without naming it, is known for having some absolute giant bass. So that's exactly what we're going for, bass. Instead of bringing my boat, just because it is a huge body of water and I have a smaller boat, kind of more designed for rivers, John had offered that I just use his tracker. So towing a very unfamiliar boat, but this will be the rig for the four or five days of fishing. Absolutely pumped to get this boat out there and uh, see what we can do. Right now, I'm actually headed from the middle of nowhere Northwest Texas to the Dallas Fort Worth Airport to pick up none other than the stinker himself. AP Bass are gonna meet up, mob down there. We probably won't have any time to fish this evening, but we gotta stock up with some baits. We gotta get a new battery. We gotta run to Whole Foods. We got several errands and things we gotta take care of prior to ripping all the way out into the middle of nowhere, West Texas, to chase after some absolute trophies. If there's any time I could beat my PB, it would probably be in these next four days. So I'm gonna take you guys along for the journey. This may be a one part series or a two or a three. I really don't know, but I hope you guys enjoy and uh, I'm gonna grind it out and see if I can't get an absolute monster for y'all. So stick with me, stay tuned, and I will catch you guys when I pick up old Stinker himself. Look who it is, the man of the hour. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It is currently like 8.45 p.m with Mr. AP Bassing, and uh, we still have not arrived. This is about our fourth fuel stop of the day, but we're getting close, slowly but surely. Can't wait to just make it out there. I am absolutely exhausted. All right, I think we have to go to another gas station. Is that cool? If you tell your video, if you tell your viewers why we have to go to another gas station. They don't have extra small for you. <laughs> all right, go right, go right. Um, we're gonna find this cat. We're finding the cat? <laughs> yes, dude, imagine. Parrot saw a, a tiny little stray cat. I've, so I, I've always wanted an animal, and I feel like this could be. This could be him. This could, she's, she's over here somewhere. Let's go west, Texas. Go left, go left. She definitely lives behind this firework spot. That's what you're feeling? So imagine we get this live on camera. All right, come with me, come with me. All right. We're on a mission right now, ladies and gentlemen. Eric and I are determined to catch the stray cat. There's a Rottweiler like right behind that fence over there. Yeah, it's over there. Cat spotted. Yeah, it's gone. We're probably standing in some like crazy <laughs> yard right now too. <laughs> I'm about to get clipped. Run, run, run. Well, no cats caught tonight, but we're gonna keep our eyes peeled going on we having problems when you when you when you plug in the charger you don't like to see a flashing light that means one of your batteries is not responding to the charger which in my instances means the battery probably got drained and is dead so there's one option you have and that's to try and use a different charger on the battery to get it kind of above zero percent per se and then maybe that charger will kick in and charge it or the battery's completely fried which in that case, that's a good one because the closest Walmart is an hour and a half. Well, I have that other battery. See everything about that? But uh, right off the rip, we're having some technical difficulties, but handyman Peric over here is going to work his magic, fix uh, her up. I have a question. And uh, you're good to go. How's the live scope rig? What do you mean? 12 inch raised. Why does he have this? He said it as an extra uh, graph 
battery. But the, um, we're having all kinds of battery issues, but we got to get those figured out. In here, and like you said, managing a little better. There's just not, like, I saw some creeks, so I went up some creeks looking for crappie, and I saw some red thin balls, but there's not, like, other lakes you would see. Like, I'm not seeing, I didn't hardly saw any bait last night. Right. Hardly any. Right. And when I do find bait, I'm like, that's bass. They have to be on it. Yeah. Well, good morning, America. Um, a little embarrassed to say, and, um, as you guys can tell from the lack of GoPro footage that, and from the lack of GoPro footage that was shown after my intro yesterday, we did not catch a single fish. For what it's worth, um, Lake Fork Guy, John, Matt Streichel, SB Fishing TV, not one of our boats caught one single fish out here. So it was an absolute tough day. I want you guys to ask yourselves at home, was it a tough day or do we, we suck at fishing? That's yeah. for you guys to make your own conclusions. And yeah, and my own conclusion, I think we suck at fishing mixed with a little bit of a tough day, but it was blowing 30 miles an hour. Every single fish we'd find, we just couldn't stay on top of because the wind in a matter of seconds would blow us off the spot. But conditions reversed today and today it is super, super calm out there. So. Fingers crossed, hopefully having that grinder of a day, we will be rewarded with a much better one. So without further ado, we're gonna make two stops. One to the gas station real quick, fill up some gas, get some necessities. Hey, and then two, and then two, we're going to get a breakfast burrito, get all fueled up, charged up, and we're gonna go sack them up, me and AP Bassett. No, I think we do. All right, see you out there. <laughs> Finally. Little guy, I switched over to a Texas rig 10 inch worm and I finally, finally hooked up to a fish. Definitely not the size we're after, but we'll take anything. And we got the new oh. trolling motor. We finally caught a fish. Let's go. I knew the Texas rig would work just a big point with a bunch of trees and this is really not even worth talking about because of how tiny he is but when you fish for two days without a single bite even a dude like this means the world to me Did I call that or what? cutie sweet thank you dude what do you got to say about that parrot nothing about eight more of that size right there so throw back yep well See ya, bud. My first actual fish. Let's go. Only up from that one, you really can't go down. Jesus, that's a giant. Might actually be decent. Wait, well, it's on the drop truck? Yeah. Right here, right here. Oh my freaking gosh. To the drum? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna end this call. Well, this will probably conclude it and probably also explain what a lot of what we hey, were hey, seeing was. Second. Are you gonna film this or not? Yeah. Can I call you back in like two minutes? Well, this will probably conclude the day. I actually caught quite a few of these guys recently. I had me going there for a second thinking of just a little drum. Well, third fish of the day, and he absolutely swallowed it. For those of you at home, 
For those of you at home who don't know what this is, it's a freshwater drum in the same family as the redfish, black drum, all drum species. Looks just like a black drum. And they are teeming in these lakes. So, got one on the drop shot. Thank you. Well, we have a slight dilemma. This 80 Minn Kota Ultrex, we uh, got off the lake, got some lunch, put back in. We're ripping around for just a second. Caught actually one fish off the ramp, off camera. Parked the truck, I'm walking back down, and uh, Parrot goes, Grant, we got some bad news. And I'm like, oh God. And he's like, the trolling motor just completely stopped working. So, pull the boat out of the water. We uh, rig up different circuits for all three batteries, just testing to see if it was maybe one battery that had gone bad. We came to the conclusion that it's probably the chip in the trolling motor that is just shot, right? Yeah, it's called the motherboard. The motherboard. And I've broken my, my personal self, I've broken three motherboards. And it's just, sometimes when you run the engine on 10 or something, just fries it. It's just a weird piece. And it's, it's, uh, I think Minkota knows that it's like one of the most problematic pieces. But. Anywho, we, uh, we're fortunate enough to meet a guy who works at Elm Creek Lodge. Gonna lend us his trolling motor for the remainder of the days. So shout out to him. Um, so right now we are gonna uninstall Mr. 80 Ultrex over there and install his uh, Vortex or whatever it is. But hopefully we'll be back and running within the next hour. So I'll keep you along, keep you updated. Let's get to work. Well, morning number three today. I'll keep the intro short and sweet because you guys are probably sick of hearing me talk and want to see some giant bass. But just know that I am trying. Today, we're getting off the tracker. Uh, you guys saw we switched out that 80 Ultrex for the 45 pound thrust Minn Kota Edge. There's Matt in the background. They we're supposed to have around 25 mile an hour winds. So I decided that that trolling motor and those heavy winds probably would not be the best. So I'm actually, you guys recognize that van right there. I'm actually getting out with none other than Matt Strykel. Uh, it's been a long time coming. It's pretty cool because one to, I've been watching this dude's video since he pretty much just first started out and uh, we were finally going fishing together. So we're gonna put our heads together and see what we can come up with. I'm excited and I'll take you guys along for the ride. Let's do it. My biggest one so far? Yes, sir. Let's go. Well, just pitching a drop shot amongst all these submerged and standing trees. And I just lifted up, thought I was actually snagged. And this guy had it. My biggest so far, not what this lake is known for, but when it's this slow, you'll take just about anything. Not even a, that bad of a fish. Just a purple with a little brown belly. Yeah. This little chunker, ate it. First one of the day and the skunk is officially out. Get it out. It's only, only up from here, you can't really go down. We'll take him, peace dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not yet. Sir. He's on fire. <laughs> Let's go. This is probably the one that just missed it. I threw, missed the fish, threw right back in there, and this little guy snagged it. Definitely is better than nothing. Woo! Feisty. Feisty. Feisty little sucker. Sweet. Come here, dude. 
Number two. Give him a spooch. Peace. Got way out there. Little, I think. I think. I said little, I think. Is it a fish? Yeah, that's a little. Yeah, little. That, dude, that's way out there. <laughs> I was just free spooling it. Awesome. Little guy. baby make some giant babies we gonna get one of those seems like they're out there jerk bait eight foot of water rest of the day an eight or nine pounder cruising through these trees i got my eyes on the scope too if i see a floater that that clash is going right over its head Please be. What kind of fish is that? A crappie. No, it's not. It's a big bass. Woohoo! We caught one, fellas. Come here, dude. Yes! God, it's been about. Eight hours coming for this sucker right here. It's got like no color on him. The beauty though, felt good to set the hook. We got about an hour of daylight. We're gonna call it, but thanks buddy. As you guys can tell, no longer in my backyard in Austin, Texas. And I'm also no longer at the lake that I was fishing for the last couple days. I still am in West Texas. I'm actually currently in Lubbock, Texas, doing a sand hill crane hunt with some good guys. One of the outfitters being Triple Play and the second outfitter being Spec Ops. Got along Alex Perrick, who uh, you guys saw in this video, and uh, Sydney Wells, who I've never met before. Super cool girl. Apologize for the lack of giant fish in this video. All in all, you guys saw the ups and downs of my trip, and I had an absolute blast making it for you. And like I said, I apologize. No giants were caught. Four days of absolutely grueling fishing, but uh, still a great time. Got to meet Matt Strykel and John and Lake Fork guy and hang out with Perrick and all those guys. So regardless, a blast. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Next one you're gonna be seeing is me shooting some birds out of the sky. Hunting is actually not my cup of tea, but I had a great time doing it. Look out for that one. It's coming up real, real soon. Thank you so much.